Hi friends, I'm Manzur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor Prerequisites, Download and Installation. So what is SQL Server Upgrade Advisor? Microsoft has provided a free tool to analyze existing SQL Server instance database, its components, features and configurations to generate a report where you can analyze required changes to upgrade from lower version of SQL Server to higher version of SQL Server so that deprecated features are highlighted and compatibility with the system and application should not be affected. If you want to upgrade SQL Server 2005, SQL Server 2008, 2008 R2 or SQL Server 2012 so you can use 2014 upgrade advisor so let's go to my website and we'll check how to uh, download and install it so I have uh, listed uh, all the points here prerequisites download and installation links are already given so in prerequisites you can see you need sql server transect sql script dome as per your system x64 or x86 okay uh, script uh, dome is a dotnet framework api uh, which is used for uh, parsing and scripting services then you need uh, windows vista service pack 1 windows 7 or a windows server uh, 2008 sp2 or windows server 2008 r2 then you need windows installer 4.5 and dot uh, net framework 4 so you can download a uh, script dome file from here from this link and if you don't have windows installer you can download from this link and if you don't have dot net framework you can visit this link of microsoft and download the same now uh, we have to download upgrade advisor installer this is sql ua.msi package which you need so uh, and this is a uh, microsoft has given this link so now uh, directly you can download from this site i'll just uh, visit that Now this is a Microsoft SQL Server 2014 feature pack. Actually, it is a collection of a standalone package as given here, which provide additional value for Microsoft SQL Server. Now uh, you can uh, see details, version, date published. This is current version. Okay, and then your file name and size everything is listed here this is SQL DOM and SQL UA.MSI then you can see system requirements then install instructions okay so you can visit here and uh, you can uh, read the details now we'll uh, download click on download button okay file name and size you have to choose the download that you want and you can scroll down now this is x64 sql dome dot msi package so i will select it because my system is x64 then x64 sql upgrade advisor dot msi so this is total uh, 15.2 mb if your system is x86 then you can uh, scroll down and choose sql dom dot msi and sql ua dot msi and download it so i will download this two files click next now this uh, pop-up will come to run or save it okay I'll prefer to save on the disk and then run later as I have already downloaded 
downloaded uh, just now so I will cancel it and SQL DOM.MSI I will cancel it okay I have already downloaded on my disk so I'll go to my downloaded location you can see this package is already downloaded here installer is already there so first you have to install SQL DOM.MSI installer double click on it so this uh, wizard will come welcome to installation wizard for microsoft sql server 2014 transact sql script dome click next so you can uh, read all uh, terms in the license agreement then accept it and click next now ready to install the program click on install button so this is installing now installation is finished click finish button then uh, run this installer sql ua.msi welcome to to the installation wizard for microsoft sql server 2014 upgrade advisor click next you can uh, read microsoft software license terms check mark i accept the terms in the license agreement and click next now in feature selection you can see entire feature will be installed on local hard drive okay I just select it if you want installation path other than this you can browse it and choose it okay if you want to check disk cost of this installation so it require 53 MB disk I have enough space click next now ready to install program click install it will take couple of minutes copying new files updating component creating shortcuts for upgrade advisor so this installation is about to finish You can see the status installation is completed uh, you can click on finish button so this installation is completed okay we have gone through all these steps okay you can go to uh, Windows start menu and click on SQL server 2014 upgrade advisor to launch I'll just click on it I'm running it uh, from start menu so now you can see this welcome to SQL Server 2014 upgrade advisor we have already uh, installed it okay prerequisites we have downloaded and installed so we'll finish uh, this video uh, log here and in next video log we'll discuss how to use uh, SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor, Analysis Wizard and Report Weaver. Thank you.